My name is Nika Zubant, I'm a product designer. This is a small pop-up shop at the Luminosity at the dock at Tom Dixon. And the pieces that are exhibited in here are part of my own production. Here uh, I have some sort of uh, different pieces all together, so it's not like a new collection. The newest piece is the bubble lamp. So this is the lamp that was introduced uh, at uh, uh, Rosanne Orlandi earlier this year in Milan. Uh, this is actually a very simple lamp. It's done out of Venetian pink glass, so it's hand blown in uh, Murano. Uh, and I was trying to use this very iconic material to, you know, show it in, in a very simple but then again very smart product. And this is what I usually do with all my products. So I try to work with icons, whether we are speaking about the materials, about the form, about the story, or about the meaning. Uh, what you can also see here is another product that we managed to industrialize at this point. This is a summertime chair. It was also a part of the summertime collection presented uh, at Rosanna Orlandi. With the cherries, they are one of my best sellers. It's a hand-blown glass lamp which is in a way very simple because we are speaking about the shade which can be then modularly applied whether to a twin or to a single cherry or to a triple cherry. So it's a very good product to be used in, I don't know, interiors or for contracts or things like that. But I think this is also another good example of my design philosophy because what we have here is very simple, very sincere, very basic uh, production method inflated with some sort of poetical uh, story. So it's a sphere, but the, the shape of the sphere is slightly changed, so we have the cherry. And this evokes, I think, so many iconic feelings. With the furniture for children, I wanted to introduce completely new aesthetic to the uh, market for children's furniture. Uh, I was searching for aesthetic which would appeal not only to the children, but also to the parents. So, because when you have children, then the house is full of toys and I believe many of the toys we can see today, plastic toys, things like that, are not done with a lot of care or, or, or are not reflecting the right value. So, I wanted to change that through the language that I use in my design. So, this car is one of uh, the results. I think that the taste which companies, majority of these average companies is trying to address to children it's not the right way because I think the aesthetics are too brutal not to care for they are done not with a lot of care so I wanted to change that I wanted to do a really beautiful elegant piece uh, and I also wanted to do a piece which has a certain timeless elegance uh, imprinted in it so at least that this could be, you know, an object which could be inherited. So it's not like something you can have two, two, two years and then you throw away. But maybe this should be something very strong, solid, so beautifully designed that it can stay for another generation. So this was the idea. With Moi, it's the first company that I started to work with. So I really feel at home at Moi. And Lolita was actually my first piece that went into the production. Uh, and the Moi, the first company who kind of understood what I'm trying to, to do uh, through my designs. And with Lolita and also with Five O'Clock, for example, you could say that I'm somehow uh, chasing these feminine archetypes, which are in a way seen as taboos. So they're like something not relevant, not smart enough. But I try to pull these elements out of this ghetto and I try to use them in a very contemporary new smart way uh, and this could you know in a very short go, go for a lot of objects that I do. So Lolita was first piece designed for Moi and the five o'clock was uh, another piece that followed this collection and it was actually inspired uh, by an idea to make a very simple very modest chair but then again to inflate it with a certain type of meaning.